is whenever doing a trip, always go and map out your route, however you're going to go. If you're going to go down to here, you can go right, you can go right down. Okay, or you can go here, or you can go across here, or you can, so, your first thing is, is to get yourself a map, and then go from there, I recommend a Randy McNally, Randy McNally is a good map, um, I've always had the trucker map, and it's always been good to me, this is an older map, but it'll work for what I'm going to use it for. So, always make sure you get a map. So, here we are. We're in our van. And we are getting ready to uh, head south. Before I did that, though, I had to swing by and get me some muffins. And um, get me a coffee. Because I, I got this coffee here. Um, and get a, a, a quart of oil because it was low a quart so so now we are going to be on our way to go get fuel and then we're heading home we're headed somewhere our home is right where we're at wherever we're at so um we'll see how this all uh, works out and uh well you'll see when we get there uh where we're going so hang in there buckle up and let's go enjoy this wonderful adventure. So here we are, headed back south. After our wonderful trip to the Philippines. Um, as you can see, there's all kinds of snow. It's cold. It's miserable. Unless you've got a snowmobile, but there's not enough snow here for snowmobiling. So be glad to hit summer weather down in the south and when it's warmer so let's stay tuned and um, we'll uh, show you more
Good morning, folks, and here we are uh, having a uh, good breakfast. Good breakfast starts the day before you get traveling out and doing your thing, whatever you do. It's always good to have a good breakfast to start your day. And don't ever forget coffee. No matter where you get it from, or where you have your breakfast from, or whatever, it's always good. Here we are, here at McDonald's, and it is like snowing out there. We are in Pennsylvania, and fuel prices are through the roof. Be glad when I get further down. All right, this beautiful, wonderful winter wonderland here. Here we are in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. It is snowing. It's crazy. Um, well, I gotta either think if I'm gonna head out or if I'm gonna stay here today or what I'm gonna do. I don't know yet. Um, time will only tell. But check this out. And see what you think. It's snowing and blowing and all the wonder we got the trucks rolling in, rolling out. We got the beautiful American flag flying in the wind here. Let's try to get across here before we get run over. But they made this uh, truck stop into a Flying J over here, which it used to be a Wilco. <laughs> and then you got a, you got a, yeah, you got uh, the TA and all that here. And we are back to the house. So. Here we are, back to the house. Okay, folks, uh, this is something that I would really like to uh, talk about, and um, this is about being courteous to uh, other drivers as you're going down the road, but you should be um, aware of this at all times, uh, and not everybody is, but uh, it's a good habit to have. See how this uh, guy is uh, on the side of the road? It's a, either a worker 
or uh, somebody broke down or whatever it may be, which that guy was broke down and he had a worker and a uh, police officer there who assessed. Um, you want to get over if you can into another lane. That way it gives them plenty of room. You should do that at all at all times if possible. Uh, it just uh, it's more of a safe thing. Uh, not only does it is it safe for them, but safe for you too. Just in case something you know somebody happens to come out walking around the vehicle, whatever you know, it gives a safe cushion. I mean, even 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 if you can slow down, it's good just to get over, give them room. No matter how how much you slow down, because a car is much more bigger, or a uh, a truck, or anything's much bigger than than a human being. So, um, just one of the common courtesy tips. Um, and later on, when we get down through here, I will show you. Uh, there'll be a spot here. You'll see where a truck has got his four ways on. He's coming out as right now. Um, he has his four ways on to let you know that he's moving slow so you'll know that you need to get over and you can go around him and he can continue going slow until he gets up to speed because a big truck is a lot slower than most vehicles and it goes with braking and all that they're slower at stopping slower at starting and it's just good to give them room if you can for anybody it doesn't matter if it's a car or a big truck or whatever it may be a motorcycle it's always good to give them room and let them come on out there if you can because folks uh, we are here in the van um, waking up having coffee and um, well not sure what we're gonna get into today but I think we're gonna finish our trip. We are in Virginia right now, almost crossing into North Carolina. And uh, we just might be in Florida tonight. Wow. Amazing, right? Yep. So, stay tuned and we'll let you know how this all goes. Well, good morning, folks, and we are back out on this beautiful, beautiful, sunny day. We are in North Carolina. We are rolling south. We are hammered down. We are just a cruising. Woo! So, it's beautiful out here today. We're going to go and uh, swing by an old antique place there that I don't know if you all know about. Anybody that's done some traveling, you'll know, you've already known all about it. But if you haven't done any traveling, you probably don't know about it. Or maybe you have heard about it from other people. Um, so, let's get ourselves there and check it out. Well, folks, it's beautiful, it's sunny, it's wonderful down here in uh, North Carolina. And don't be haters. Now, Come on down and enjoy this beautiful weather. I mean, it, you know what they're talking later on, it's going to be warm uh, through the weekend. So, come on down and enjoy the beautiful sunshine down here. But, hey, don't take my word for it. Come on down, check it out. Um, we'll be getting to where we're going to go. And I'll show you. It used to be an awesome place. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it still is. I don't know. But y'all can uh, decide for yourself and go from there. Uh, but if you get a chance, swing on in. Check it out. It doesn't hurt to check anything out. But, well, we'll check it out here in a little bit. So, stay tuned. Oh, we're here! Woo! We're here! Alright, folks. Out. It is the place. You can come. You can uh, take your RV. I guess they got RV spots and everything. Uh, got all kinds of different things here. We will figure it out. We will go check it out.
but it is south of the border, baby. Okay, folks, uh, so what we've decided to do there is that we are just going to go and uh, do South of the Border in a different clip, uh, in a different episode, because this one's going to be long enough as it is. So stay tuned and you get to see more exciting things about South of the Border. Well, folks, um, we are getting out of here. We are going south. Um, the um, south of the border, there's a few things to do. Uh, not a whole lot going on right now because it's the snow season. But I guess the way the lady talked, um, it gets so busy there, it's crazy uh, during the summer months. So, yeah, stop in around the summertime. There's plenty to do and see. Uh, uh, even if you stop by at this time of year, uh, you don't have to worry about all the traffic and all the people, so you can still check out all the exhibits, see what it's all about. Why not be able to play in the water park? That, I, I, I'm going to say that was probably closed. A little, little cold out to be playing in the water park. Uh, go ahead and check it out, see what you think of it. Good morning, folks. Um, we are here at in the van, and uh, we are in Florence, South Carolina. So, uh, uh, I, I stopped at the truck stop here and got some coffee and uh, breakfast. Uh, not the greatest of breakfast, but hey, it, it's yummy, but just not all that great for you. I know I gotta start in uh, probably eating better. Uh, hopefully do that soon here. Be in Florida before you know it. So, uh, what a beautiful day it is out there. And we're supposed to get a high of 71 today. Hey, can't beat that. Oh, I'm so glad to be out of that cold and snow and blowing. And <laughs> All right, well, let's get back to it. So folks, here we are. It's wonderful, wonderful live living channel here. 
And guess what? We 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 even have check it out. Boom! Yeah, we have business cards. Check this out, people. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. So, um, as, as traveling and and all that goes, um, I'll pass out some business cards to people, and y'all can follow me on YouTube. So. Hey, check it out. Um, our next adventure, I don't know. Let's go find it. Let's enjoy it. I know Sunday I'm meeting up with some friends. We're going to go uh, church and everything. But um, other than that, I mean, I, I don't have nothing on my schedule. Not until next month. So uh, nothing, nothing on record. But, you know, we, we find our own things, right? That's what life living's all about. All right, well, let's get this rolling, get some fuel, and get on out of here. Okay, so decided to stop here at truck stop. Flying J has got the best pizza around as far as the truck stop goes. So you can get two for five dollars, two pieces for five dollars, which is a pretty good deal actually. Not bad for. Um, if you want to meet lovers or uh, a um, Supreme or uh, a cheese pizza or whatever, but it's always fresh and always good. So check out Flying J's all across the United States. They got really good pizza. Woohoo! Guess what, folks? We in Florida. Yeah, baby. Finally made it to the Sunshine State. Back home we are. All right. Folks, here we are back in uh, the sunny, Sunnyville, Florida. Come on. We are back in the Sunshine State. Enjoying it. Woo! Wow. What a, what a wonderful day it is here today in Florida. Um, we're just going to relax a little bit when we get down the road here. And then we're going to... Go do some stuff there tomorrow and everything, but uh, we're finally back in Florida. Oh, how I miss Florida! I love Florida, especially this time of year. And I miss all the fishing. I miss I miss all the fun. Oh, shoot! I got I got to get back fishing again. It's nice to actually take it. Good morning, folks. Um, and we are here now, uh, getting ready to uh, head down and uh, visit with Bill and Roth, uh, great friends of mine. And uh, we're getting ready to go to church. Uh, so, uh, 
catch you there.
there's a lot to see around here, but we just don't have time. We just don't have time. We gotta get, we gotta get to church. All right, folks. Uh, Glad we got in here when we did. That way we don't have to. Fight for a parking spot. Alright, we're here. We're in. Y'all can be on YouTube. Yes. Ah. Um, Lila. Uh, uh, Lila. Uh, uh, this is my friends oh, Bill and Roth uh, I was telling you about. Um, we're, we are here at uh, the um, uh, ch at the uh, Christian, Christian Family, Family Chapel, Chapel in and we're in uh, Mandarin, Florida. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we're getting ready to go to church now. Oh, and sure. uh, we're like. Yeah, we're running late, so we gotta get going. Uh, so.
church here at Christian Family Chapel this morning. Um, and uh, now we are getting ready to go for breakfast. And, uh, yeah, at Denny's, hey, amazing, huh? Denny's is a good place. Um, so we are going to roll on out. And um... Okay, folks, uh, hit that like and smash that button there. And uh, catch you again on the next episode of Life Living.